Hi folks, welcome to another episode of Tableau in Two Minutes. Today we are going to be walking through level of detail calculations. There are three types of level of detail calculations. Uh, today we're going to be walking through what's called a fixed level of detail calculation, which is the simplest. So I have uh, gone ahead and connected to my Superstore sales data set. Uh, it's available in the video description if you'd like to follow along. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a handful of product items and we're going to drag them out onto the row shelf and create ourselves a little bit of a table. Um, so whoop, we don't want product container, we want product category. Uh, then we want product subcategory. And then what we're going to drag out is sales onto our ABCs here. And that's going to give us the sum of sales for each product subcategory and for each product category. Now, a fixed level of detail calculation is going to do the sum of sales, that's like we have here, but it's going to do the sum of sales at a level of detail that we tell it. So we're going to say this is fixed sum of sales. We're going to put some curly brackets. We're going to say fixed. And then we're going to tell it the level of detail that we want to put it at. In this case, the, what we're going to put it at is the product category level. So product category, and then you put a colon, and then we give it the expression that we want to do, which is in this case, sum of sales. And then we're going to close that parentheses. Oh. There we go. Hit OK. And then we're going to drag fixed sum of sales out also onto our table here. And now you can see what we've done is we've calculated the sum of sales for furniture. Every number in furniture is the same. Every number in office supplies is the same. Every number in technology is the same. And it's always going to calculate at that product category uh, level. So if we drag something out here like province, let's drag that out. You can see we're still calculating at the product category level. So we've still got this you know, 5,178,591 for everything in furniture, no matter what the province, no matter what the product subcategory. Now, let's drag province back a second. Why is that helpful? Well, let's say that we wanted to find out what percent of furniture sales were bookcases. In that case, we can take our sales number, create a calculated field, percent of category sales, so we're going to take the sum of sales, and then we're going to divide it by the sum of sales, the fixed sum of sales. There we go, by product category. Hit OK. Percent of category sales, drag that out onto the measure value shelf. Obviously, it's going to be zero because it's rounding down to zero. So we're going to go ahead and format that to be a percentage. There you go. And you can see that. Furniture bookcases were 15.9% of total furniture sales. So that's how you'd use a fixed level of detail calculation. Again, a fixed level of detail calculation is one that will always calculate at the product category level, no matter what other items you have in your view. Uh, stick around, and we will continue working with this workbook to demonstrate both the include and the exclude level of detail calculations in just a few minutes.